This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Well, a pretty decent looking evening out here tonight. Temperatures still in the low 90s here at uh, 7 o'clock. We'll fall into the upper 70s, eventually down to near 60 overnight, but it's going to remain hot tomorrow. A clear, quiet night tonight, uh, certainly quieter than yesterday. We had that tornado just off to our north uh, in uh, Harrison, north of Harrison around Lusk yesterday with some of those showers. Hot again tomorrow, much, much, much cooler for the weekend. Not a zero chance of rain, but pretty small chances over the next seven days. But uh, we're going to see some, I think, showers along with that cool down coming in for the weekend. 88 yesterday, we were 10 to 12 degrees above that uh, today. Nothing here in the rain gauge. Will in a way at some of that surplus for the month and year. Boy, look at current temperatures right now. We are sizzling out here. 98 in Denver, 101 in Goodland, 101 in Hayes. 95 in Hastings, very hot conditions. We're hot here in our region. Ogallala 99, it's 95 up in Valentine. Mullen checks in at 96, some 97s. Shadron and Scotts Bluff 98 here in Torrington, 90 over in Cheyenne. Now you factor in the heat index and whoo, is it hot. I'm standing in front of the real hot part. We have upper 90s to near 100. Take a look here in eastern Nebraska. Lincoln at 101, Norfolk, or make that 111 for a heat index in Lincoln right now. Salina at 109, these are dangerously high uh, heat indices out there. And we're right about uh, where we are temperature-wise, which is actually kind of rare for us, meaning it's a little muggier than normal. A lot of times our heat index lower than our actual air temperature. So it feels warm out there, and it is. Severe weather threat confined well to our north and east, up around the Twin Cities for tonight. Tomorrow we push... Thunderstorm chances off to the east again and northeast of us. And then as we go into Saturday, thunderstorm chances to the south and east of us. It looks like we're going to stay pretty dry as we go through the next seven days. Not uh, going to completely rule out any thunderstorms, but uh, chances are pretty low. Tonight, some downsloping winds go away and we're left with clear skies overnight. Nothing doing out here on the weather front and no thunderstorm activity tonight. That's for sure. Low temperature is going to fall around 60 degrees, only down to near 70 in Valentine and Mullen. It's going to be muggy uh, in that part of the state and hot again tomorrow with sunshine baking us all day long tomorrow. Again, no real changes coming uh, as we have maybe a few late day winds and a few clouds try to push through. That cold front's going to sneak in tomorrow night, late tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. We're going to be significantly cooler uh, for the weekend. Not tomorrow though. Highs right back to where they were today. Uh, maybe about the same temperature flirting with 100 or better than 100 in some locations again tomorrow. And we'll show you the precip forecast, but it's pretty boring. Uh, not much going on out there. Everybody's going to be pretty dry as we go through the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. 61 tonight, clear, quiet. Tomorrow, another hot one. One more hot day. Highs Flirting with 100 again, wouldn't be surprised to see a few of us get there. And then our seven day forecast, we really cool down. Look at Saturday and Sunday, upper 70s, mid and upper 70s for those two days. Back to near 90 by Tuesday and in the low 90s for the middle portions of next week. But you'll notice we have a couple of days with a 20% chance of some showers and storms. Uh, chances are pretty low over the next seven days that uh, most of us are going to see much in the way of measurable precip.